Hello folks, uh, this is the post maiden flight debrief so to speak. few issues that I needed to resolve. The first one was the um, difficulty in accessing, wait a moment I'll just pull this back, the diff difficulty in accessing the glow plug. Um, if I show you, it was a real pain in the butt and not and not only really that, it was going to end up a pain in the fingers. It was quite dangerous trying to put clips onto the end of the glow plug. So I fitted a remote driver. Um, that took some doing, I can tell you. The engine had to come out again. Uh, lots of swear words in the, the naughty box. Uh, I'm going to fit this onto the side, put a hole through and mount it on a plate. And that will make for a much safer... Um, start a procedure with this glow lead so that was the first task i had to do the second one is um i've tried the wiggle mechanism i've used it it works but um the servo was a little bit sick at the end of the last flight so i've I reasoned that there was an awful lot of strain being put on that servo it was a metal geared servo at that um and the concept would work, but I'd have to put a much beefier, uh, bigger um, servo in to carry on using the wing wiggling me uh, mechanism. And quite frankly, it's not needed. I tried the, uh, the thing, went through a lot of effort to get it to work. I'm glad I did. I don't regret that at all. Uh, I wanted to do something that a fellow modeler wanted to try and through circumstances was unable to. Um, it works, I can give it a tick in the box, and now what I've done is I've actually locked up the mechanism. Um, I've left the servo in place because the balance point was spot on where it was. And what I've done is I've simply, if I zoom in, you might be able to see it. And I hope you can see it. And you can see what I've done is I've screwed in these retaining clevises little um allen key devices but i've gone a little bit further i'm not going to rely on a small uh little nut to hold on to the forces on the wing so i've actually soldered them in place so they're going nowhere that's now fixed in place but as i say i feel like i've achieved what i wanted to achieve uh time to move on the next thing that i'm going to have to address is this happened on one of the flights. The hatch just opened, flopped down, so obviously the mechanism for locking it, which was simply a latch here, just isn't adequate. And I've looked uh, on the internet to purchase um, a door latch, and I can get them, but they'll not arrive for 10 days. So I'm going to make one, and that's what I'm going to make this little video about, just for giggles, why not? So these, this is what I've got to make it with. Piece of wire, one of those little retaining clevises with the Allen key lock on them. A spring. I might find another one, but I think this will probably do as a starting point. And I've got some printed circuit board here. Uh, I've got some more that's not as much of a mess. But I'm going to use this and sold it together and make... Or oh, a bit of brass tubing which might come in handy. I'm going to make a latch for this front door, this side door. Um, so I'll have a bit of fiddle, come up with something, show you it before I solder it. Tell me what you think. Well, the first thing I have to do is <clears throat> make a, an extension or a handle to pull the latch back. So, using the threaded part of this um, servo clevis, I'm going to solder on there. And the trick to soldering is to have the right flux, a clean iron, and a clean job. So, this is the right flux. I found out through a bit of trial and error and some good advice of a club member who worked in the plumbing trade for years. 
and he put us under this flux. It's actually, there you go, that's what it is. And it's spot on, does the job brilliantly. So I'm gonna apply some flux to the job, which I hope you can see, you will see in a second. There you go. I've cleaned the air and tinned it. That basically means I've put it into the flux, did put some solder on and wiped off the surplus and I've got a nice shiny surface now. And I'm going to apply some heat and then feed the flux in. And I think that's done the job. If it hasn't, I'll use a bigger rain, which I have. Or rather, I borrowed from a friend. Oh, that's done there. That's going to be adequate. Let that go off. It does need silver solder for a, a job as small as this. Um, soft solder will do the job. Seem to have melted it to the. So there we go. I've now got an extension handle. That's the first part of the operation. And while we're at it, <clears throat> I'm going to actually, so it doesn't come undone, I'm going to solder the latch lever to this as well. I don't think it will. <clears throat> would do any harm to do so so and the trick is to apply heat to both the parts you're trying to solder so i'm touching the the rod and the little clevis at the same time There we go, that's going nowhere now. So that's the first part of the mechanism done. Let that cool down. And <clears throat> I've started cutting out this board. And in this case, actually I'm using double-sided. Double and the advantage of this is I can actually make the components and solder them together. So I'll make, the, I'll make all the parts and then we'll look at how it's going to mesh up. Well, here we have the components. I hope you can see what I'm trying to do. Guide. Guide, spring to pull the lever back, and that's the base plate. So I'm going to tin these surfaces first. Uh, it'll just make the soldering a little bit easier. Um, find the brush. There you go. <clears throat> Far too much, but never mind. And I'll apply a little bit of heat. There you go. The idea is nicely to this copper plate. There you go, and I'll do the same on the gates for the rod. I'm actually going to tin both sides. Obviously, you can only do one at a time. Ah, fumes. Flick that over. Do the same on the other side.
No. I'm going to sew the, the, the this one on first. I'm going to use set the clamping tweezers so I can get it all lined up nicely. And now all I really need to do is to reheat the solar that's already on. Nice fillet there. It'd help if it was in the centre, but never mind, we can move it. Come on, Mark. better so that's the first side and obviously I need to put this together otherwise I'll not get it in and I've actually <laughs> I've done it I knew I'd do something daft it's just slightly too long so I'm going to trim that off so I can get it in there we go, silly mistake solved. So that in, I'm going to use this to hold it and I'll cut it afterwards. Spring on. Second guide on. This is going to be a bit of a three-handed job, but we'll see. That's what I'm trying to do. Right, wait a minute, I'm going to try and jig something up. Just wait a second. That's better. Little <clears throat> bit of scrap balsa. Drill the hole in. I can drop the handle in. That's better. Now it's just a case of squaring everything up and applying the heat. Pack it that side. Tack it the other side and then I'll run. The solder along. I think that's going to work. Give it a second. There we go. That'll work. Now, obviously, you don't have to go to the slaver of making one of these, but I didn't want to wait 10 days for delivery. So that will be glued inside the hatch and I'll show you that when it's done I we'll could straighten that up a little bit because it's not straight but it works Think that's going to have to do there you go one latch onwards and upwards and that's the uh, latch installed so let's see i can pull that up and open the door there you go and then simply and that's not going to blow open as it did on its maiden day the other side's just 
it, it has a latch on it's screwed down so it ain't, it ain't gonna uh, move so the next thing i need to do in this post uh maiden shake down is to do the remote driver so i'll do that now the last job to do uh, on this post maiden day is the installation of this remote driver i've mounted it on a plywood plate which has now been glued in and if i insert there we go we've got juice and i can keep me my fingers from trying to reach around to get clips off there uh, glow motors and glue engines and so on there we go if you've enjoyed this little recap uh, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next adventure which tomorrow's monday so i'll start the next project tomorrow i think take care everybody bye now